And what is nicer than another talking technical? I mean, South Africa is in a lockdown. But we are very busy because um, there's a lot of people that's so keen on um, buying shares and trading and all that. So we're busy sending out trading videos and, and help people to make a success out of it. And I hope that you're going to enjoy the show because for us, it's a highlight of the week because we can service the community. And we've got so many requests that um, I'm going to tackle some international stuff and even some local stuff if we've got time. But let's have a look and, and let's start off with Bitcoin. Susie asked us about Bitcoin and she said, um, France, is there a possibility that we can look at Bitcoin because everybody is just telling us that we need to buy it and, and that the share or this instrument can just go up. And remember, this is not a share. This is a, a cryptocurrency. <clears throat> now, Susie, if I look at this chart, first of all, I want to say to myself that Bitcoin for me, it always makes me a little bit nervous. And the reason why it makes me nervous because it is a, a, a trading instrument and a lot of people are rushing into it and then they buy it and then they sell it. And um, it's almost like, you. yes, you can see an uptrend here. And, and this chart, if we look at it, <clears throat> let's have a look here. Um, since about March, it rallied from around 4,720 all the way up to the 700, 3,020 level. Now, but what happened here? Look at it. And, and some people say, Bitcoin will never fall when the market's correct. And it's almost like what you call a safe haven. Well, that's not the case. Because if I look at Bitcoin here, and remember, this is in US dollar. What do we see? That was the high around 15 February, 14 February. Then the market started to correct. What happened? It did not go up. In actual fact, it went lower. What did it give us? lower eyes, and then eventually it turned you into an ugly waterfall formation. But there's something to keep in mind with a waterfall formation. And that is, a waterfall formation usually leads into a relief rally or even a bounce sometimes, and then it can go lower. Now, what happened here? Bitcoin is developing what we're seeing now, a rising wedge formation, because it is slowly but surely grinding higher, the support is also going up. And can you see this gap here is a little bit wider than this side. Now, I think that this gap will close eventually. And then we'll either see a break above it. Sometimes you do get it. But most of the time, if you look at the rising wedge, it usually drop below the support line and then it can correct. So, um, Susie, if I look at Bitcoin here in US dollar, I will say to myself, yes, there was the low, there's a higher low, there's another higher low, but what happens now? First of all, it is in this rising wedge, and my first sign of weakness, and that's why I want to give it to you, because it sounds like to me that you just want to chase in and you want to buy it. And that makes me nervous. Of course, after this relief rally, and what is a rising wedge? A rising wedge is the opposite of a waterfall formation. That tells you that it can actually correct to the downside. We said this gap is maybe still a little bit big, but my first warning signal will be below 7,158. That will be the first sign for me that we want to go lower inside this wedge, and we can maybe test this support, and where is this support waiting? I think if it takes a little bit of time, we'll probably meet up with this support. Let's just extend that line a little bit. We'll probably meet up ending that low and we'll break the support. And that low is sitting at $6,750. So I'm a little bit nervous to say to you that you can chase this instrument. The reason why, it had a beautiful rally already from 4.8 to 7.6. And now we need to see if it can stabilize above this. I wonder if it's going to do that. Because in, in the past, I've seen that a rising wedge eventually trigger a selling. So I'm a little bit nervous to say to you that you can buy it. So be careful. But let's have a look at a share, a well-known South African share. And that is Naspers, of course. Now, Naspers as we all know, is one of those darlings of the market. And um, I can remember many years ago, I said, 
Um, what I'm, I'm worried about now, Spurs, it does not conform to any technicals. It is just going one way and it just ignored all the technicals. And then, of course, Naspers came out and they listed doses and they said, but um, listen, we're looking at um, value unlock. And I'm seeing now recently that they're starting to buy their own shares back. So uh, Naspers is definitely believing that share price offers value here. But um, Solly, for me, what I see here is this formation. Now, what I see here, and remember now, Naspers is is one of the favorites of the market. I mean, uh, through all these years, if, if you want a little bit of, of a profit in the market, you will actually go to Naspers, and Naspers supported the local index for many years. But what do we see here? We see what I call a megaphone formation. Now, what is a megaphone formation? A megaphone formation is nothing else that it is also um, typical of a normal megaphone. You now, if you stand across a rugby field and somebody is on a megaphone and it calls you, Solly comes here, you don't even hear that. Because you, you sometimes hear, is it Solly or is it Molly? Who's, he, who's the guy speaking about? Now, exactly with shares. Now, this line chart of Naspers is forming this massive mega formation. And what do we say? A megaphone formation gives mixed signals. That's why I'm a little bit nervous to say to you, you can just buy it. I'll come back to it now where I will give you a, a positivity around this chart. But in the meantime, be careful on a megaphone formation because a megaphone formation can give you mixed signals. It can force you into trades where you think, yes, I'm right. Now I'm wrong. I'm going to buy. Now I'm going to take a stop loss. Because inside this megaphone, you will get a lot of mixed signals. What I do see, and this means that the share price can maybe surprise us all, and I mean, Naspers surprised us for many, many, many years. I mean, um, as we all know, that was the darling of the market. What do I see here? Inside this megaphone formation, I see an inverse head and shoulder. Now, of course, that is bullish. An inverse head and shoulder usually break to the upside, and then it can go much higher because if I look at this inverse head and shoulder, let's have a look here. I just want to use that line going up there. I'm going, oops, I'm going to extend it a little bit. Let's extend it like this from the head to the neckline. And we extend it. It can take the share all the way up to 3,000 rand. There's something very interesting here. And it's also interesting for you to take note of and a lot of viewers. Always remember, look what we see here. This inverse head and shoulder was built from, let's say, the 27th of February, where it is now around 8th of April. And yes, it will trigger a buying signal above 2,628 Rand. But where's your stop loss? Your stop loss will be 2,481.35, and even maybe as low as 2,426.97 cents. But there's something else I would like to tell you. If you look at this share, and if you look at this megaphone formation that I had here, look what we see here. Remember this um, inverse head and shoulder developed over, let's call it a month. What does this megaphone formation tell us? That was developed over how many months? I just draw in this line. Here you are. You can see it. This mega formation was started in July. It started to show its face slowly but surely, and now it is in April. So I will say I will put more emphasis on a formation over a longer period of time than to go into a formation where you see it built over three weeks or four weeks. So yes, you can buy it. I did give you the uh, the target there. I also gave you the stop loss. Just keep in mind that the megaphone formation built over a long time has a little bit of more weight than a inverse head and shoulder built over three or four weeks. Well, let's have a look at Stadio. Now, now it looks like if I look at these shares, it looks like if, if I, if I um, look at it, there's a lot of viewers that would like to find some shares now 
that they can buy. And of course, uh, Captain asked about Stadio. And Captain, what do we see here? And remember, this is again a daily chart. And there you are. I mean, if I look at this daily chart, first of all, keep in mind that the downtrend is still clearly in place. Why do I say that? Look at all these lower eyes and look at this line. This trend line tells you that the momentum is still clearly to the downside. What I like about the chart is the low was at around 76 cents and it bounced up. It came back about 1 rand 7 cents and it's almost close to this, let's call it resistance line. If it breaks above, and there's your level, above 1 rand 57 cents, that's about 10 cents from here. Of 157, it can break this trend line. But I want to keep you something. I, I want to give you something to keep in mind. Remember, this share rallied all the way from 79 cents. It's now 149. It almost doubled in price. So be careful just to say if it carries on here, it will double in price quickly. You'll probably see that it only works around this line, and then you can look at it. Use the stop loss. I will use a stop loss of one rand and ten cents to protect my capital. Or no, it is quite a big stop loss. There's another one that you can maybe use. It's one rand thirty-eight. That's a little bit narrow again. So I will rather use this bottom one. And if it breaks that line, we can maybe see the share up to one rand eighty-eight, one two rand and six cents, and maybe over time, long time from here, maybe two rand and twenty-one cents. Well, thank you so much for watching the show. And enjoy and watch our website www.franceclerc.com and for to see all our services. Thank you.